SpaceX and Elon Musk are two names that accomplish things that no one expects to be accomplished. This is what Elon Musk constantly strives for and has been doing for quite some time. Stick until the end of this video to learn more about his successful hat trick on rocket launches, which has shocked the entire world. Elon Musk created SpaceX, a private American aircraft maker and space transportation company, in 2002. The company's primary purpose is to lower space travel expenses and enable Mars settlement. Musk and SpaceX have achieved something so fantastic this time that we can't help but be impressed. What they've accomplished in the area of space has completely astonished the globe. Well, stay tuned to discover more. After conducting three launches from the United States in less than 36 hours, the business, known to many across the world as SpaceX, is lighting on all engines. Flights for the government, private firms, and SpaceX's own internet service were carried out effectively from California and Florida sites on Friday and Saturday. A two-phase Falcon 9 rocket launched a Global Star Communications spacecraft into orbit from Cape Canaveral earlier Sunday, completing SpaceX's hat trick. SpaceX.com said the business launched its internet service satellites from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida on Friday. On Saturday, a surveillance rocket from the German military was launched from Vanderburg Space Force Base in California. SpaceX's accomplishments over the last few days have made many space enthusiasts very excited. Only seven years ago, the first Falcon 9 core safely landed, and now SpaceX has completed three independent flights on both ends of North America, with rockets retrieved on land and at sea. This is okay for a corporation formally connected to unsuccessful rocket launches. Musk posted his appreciation right after the third launch, saying, Congratulations to SpaceX team on three successful orbital launches. These launches were made in less than 36 hours of time. Falcon 9, which is SpaceX's most famous launch, shattered certain records to reach this key turning point. As a result, it will soon be realized that spaceflight is not cheap. Despite the enormous price increasing for items and supplies, even in its earliest stages today. Let's look at what's typically involved in launching a rocket and how SpaceX is different from other space agencies. The launching of a rocket involves the space sector. It's expensive to build and while some firms, such as Boeing, have entered the market, there are places where individuals last entered in years, areas dictated by NASA. Outbound travel and government space trips are highly expensive which is one of the causes of the extensive engagement of government entities. The second important reason is that space is viewed as an economic industry. There are two major parts visible. A rocket being launched from the Earth's surface. The top ship is the rocket launcher, which drives the ship. And the primary expense of the ship comes from the engines, because once the vessel has deorbited and completed its mission, it can no longer be reused. This was prior to when SpaceX entered the picture. SpaceX invented the notion of a reusable launching vehicle, which transformed the aerospace sector. This isn't the case that earlier people, who were already there in the space industry, didn't consider. It simply only worked after Musk arrived. The old method of launching made it difficult to get it out of the sky, so it was chosen to stick with the old approach. And after the combustion process was finished, it got back and crash-landed on the ground. In certain circumstances, it remains and turns into a galactic wasteland. Now this is where SpaceX brought a game-changing plan, presenting the world to its numerous and powerful Falcon 9 spacecraft. The launch vehicle's first landing attempt wreaked chaos at SpaceX, as it became clear that it could be used endlessly, beyond conception, for those who didn't realize it could be carried out just by imagining it. Although SpaceX failed to bring down the booster, the company's name and reputation were severely damaged. In December 2015, SpaceX finally got it correct and grounded the first ever booster on a concrete pad at Cape Canaveral, bringing in an exciting new phase for the space industry. The pure exhilaration of the Cape Canaveral launch tower was unforgettable. SpaceX grounded the boosters and even after that, it was like gathering an inventory of spent rocket boosters before figuring out how to reuse them. Now that the rocket has landed, the next milestone for SpaceX's mission will be its return to space, 
as everyone understands the historical importance of this day in space. The SpaceX Falcon 9 flew with the used rocket in 2017. SpaceX checked the booster before being utilized on the flight, but Avon's dream was to utilize the identical booster to acquire both within 24 hours. Before we see it, boosters still exist. With that, we can say that Elon Musk and SpaceX have now accomplished something under their belt that most of space companies, including NASA, couldn't. The price for a Falcon Heavy rocket launch starts at about $90 million, which is about five times cheaper than that of Delta IV Heavy manufactured by Boeing, another private space agency. With the reusable technology embedded in the rockets, SpaceX is now 10 times cheaper than NASA. The total development cost for a Falcon Heavy rocket is approximately $390 million, which would be around $1.7 to $4 billion if NASA developed the same rocket using the same technology. This reflects that the Falcon 9 is around 4 to 10 times cheaper than any space rockets NASA would have developed. Let's talk about the company's most recent unprecedented achievement, the launch of three Falcon 9 rockets in 33 hours and 18 minutes. It only takes around a half day. All of these trips were private. The first was the Starlink mission, while the other two were spacecraft for Earth observation and telecommunication satellites, with SpaceX holding the record. SpaceX created history on the 30th of June by releasing two Falcon 9 spacecraft in a single day. The first takeoff from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida occurred at 1.25 p.m. Eastern Time, transporting the GPS-3 SV-03 satellite for the United States Space Force. Only a few hours later, at 9.57 p.m. Eastern Time, SpaceX flew a second Falcon 9 rocket from the same position, delivering the Anasys-2 satellite for the South Korean military. But it didn't end there. On July 2nd, SpaceX fired another Falcon 9 missile from the Vanderburg Air Force Base in California, carrying the SAOCOM 1B satellite for the Argentine Space Agency. Elon Musk, CEO of SpaceX, stated that the company's latest iteration of its workhorse, Falcon 9, the Block 5 model, was meant to fly up to 10 trips. According to an Aviation Week story from June 10th, the corporation now plans to fly in Falcon 9 missiles at least 15 times before discarding them. According to the magazine, SpaceX has 21 Falcon launches in its stock. According to Jessica Jensen, SpaceX's Vice President of Customer Services and Integration, Falcon 9 flight elements have been evaluated up to four times to ensure a long life for 15 missions. The remarkable achievement of releasing three rockets in such a brief period has won SpaceX a lot of acclaim and attention from the media and the general public. People have been impressed by the rapidity with which these launches have occurred. It's also worth noting that SpaceX successfully landed every single one of these rockets back on Earth. The Falcon 9 rocket is supposed to be reusable, and SpaceX has been striving for years to perfect this technology. SpaceX is not only lowering the cost of space travel by safely landing these rockets, but it's also opening the road for a greater number of effective launches in the future. Musk not only broke his own record by flying three Falcon 9s in 36 hours and 18 minutes, but he also made history by doing this whenever there was an improvement in space. Government entities that are more readily available and profitable may be ready to embark on this mission. Without profit as a powerful motivator, the continued existence of private agencies depends on the viability of the rockets they can utilize. Well, that says it all. Let's look at what SpaceX is planning to do in 2023. At present, SpaceX has another big target to reach, the ambitious aim of launching 100 Falcon 9 flights each year, bringing it down to the calculations of launching two Falcon 9 rockets each week. And following the three most recent record-breaking flights, SpaceX is just one of those goals to accomplish this. When Elon Musk revealed these aims to his company, everyone grieved, believing it was just another hollow promise from Elon Musk. But as by the look of the events, Elon and SpaceX will be able to achieve this goal as well. 
According to reports, SpaceX intends to launch two additional Falcon 9 rockets. The Starlink mission represents one of them. In the cosmic sphere, this historical event demonstrates how extraordinary individuals are at SpaceX and what they're capable of, and it also indicates that the coming years of space will be considerably more fascinating. Still, SpaceX has already accomplished something that is the first time anyone else in this business has. Three orbital trips lasting 11 to 12 hours. At certain points, SpaceX appears to be creating history by accomplishing the unthinkable. Well, that's all for today's video. What are your thoughts on Elon and SpaceX's achievements in the space industry? Comment down below. If you like this video, then like and subscribe to the channel. Also, press the bell icon so you're always notified first about our future uploads. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back the next time with another video. See you then.